So for this first part then we've got f is such that x maps on to the mod of 2x minus 5 and it's valid for all real values of x. So how do we sketch this graph? The graph if you like of f of x because we can rewrite this in this form if you like f of x equals the mod of 2x minus 5. Well let's just set up our axes something like this. Okay, We've got x-axis and we can call this the y-axis as long as y equals f of x. Now for mod graphs if the mod was not here the graph of y equals 2x minus 5 would be a straight line graph with a gradient of positive 2 and intersects the y-axis at minus 5. So it would normally be then a line that would look something like this. Cutting through the minus 5 and just coming up like that. Okay, So that would be the line of y equals 2x minus 5. We're not asked to draw that but the mod. Okay, Now when it comes to the mod graph then what's going to happen is that the graph has to stay positive. All our y values have to stay positive. So for these values we just reflect these negative values in the x-axis. So we would end up with that kind of branch of the graph. Okay. So if I could just draw that just to the side. It's meant to be on top of that red line there. But the green graph here then is the graph of y equals if you like f of x where f of x then is the mod of 2x minus 5. Okay. Now we need the points we're told where it crosses the axis. Now this point here is the reflection of minus 5 in the x-axis that's going to go to plus 5. If we didn't know that all we've got to do is set x equal to 0. So if you had x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, minus 5. So you get minus 5 with a mod sign around it. The mod of minus 5 is going to be 5. Just strip off the negative sign. And when it comes to this point here, this is the point where y or f of x equals 0. So that's going to be when 2x minus 5 equals 0. So you can see that when 2x minus 5 equals 0 you've got that 2x equals 5 and therefore if you divide both sides by 2 you get x equals 5 over 2. So this point here then is x equals 5 upon 2. Okay so you should have something then sketched on and it would be that green graph. You don't have to have the red graph on. Okay?